Come on, baby. Ah! I see all the beautiful colors, and I immediately think rainbow trout. I'm using a combination of different root vegetables, like radishes, beets, blue potato, and then a bit of leek to make a rainbow scale on top of the fish. The inspiration behind my dish is my dad. We would fish in the summertime for rainbow trout. And I remember my dad showing me how to get the bobber on the line, fond memories. My dad died when I was 20. It was a mighty rip through the page of my life. And I wanted to do things that would be kind of safe. For a really long time, food felt like a risk. I now feel ready to do some risking. <laughs> five minutes! You only have five minutes left. All I see is that minute hand ticking away. All right. I think we're cooking over here. Are we, are we, are we? I'm leaving the cheesecake to the very last minute because I need to make sure that it's set. I think it worked. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, oh, man. Regine's cheesecake is falling apart. My heart sinks. The top 12 home cooks are digging deep in a mystery box challenge showcasing root vegetables. Ah! There are just five minutes left, and Rogine is having trouble with his cheesecake. Uh... The first cheesecake didn't set. I'm really freaking out because I need to win. I put my offset spatula in the second cheesecake, and I'm literally holding my breath. <laughs> it looks like a perfect root vegetable cheesecake. But taste is king. One minute. You have one more minute left. We're rooting for those root vegetables. Oh, oh boy. Almost done. Yeah. yeah. Uh -uh. Ten, nine, nine eight. eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands up! Great work. Well done, everyone. Throughout the challenge, the judges have been observing each home cook. Now, they're taking one last look before they select the three most promising dishes for tasting. I'm confident in what I'm doing, and I have three chances to get called. I'm hoping I'm one of them. I just want them to call my name so badly. It looks like a big pile of crapola. I don't have a chance. The first home cook that we'd like to call up put an unexpected spin on their earthy ingredients. That plate belongs to... Jennifer. Yeah! <laughs> That's the feeling. <laughs> this is turf and surf, a sweet potato puree, a beet puree, seasoned blanched vegetables. Underneath all of that, there is a rainbow trout poached in a flavored broth. This might be the first fish I've eaten where I like the scales. The fish is cooked perfectly. The root vegetables, they're definitely the star of the show. They really showcase those earthy, deep flavors. Overall, pretty amazing. Thanks. Hi there, Jennifer. Hello, Chef. It certainly is eye-catching. Beet is such a wonderful root vegetable to work with. What comes out is that earthy, slightly sweet flavor and those root vegetables as part of the scales on top, maybe slightly under seasoned. Okay. But if I had to score this dish on a scale of one to 10, I'd be giving it eight and a half. So well done, I love it. Thank you. Thank you. The next home cook we'd like to call up honored their own roots by digging deep. Chrissy, please bring your dish to the front. I can't believe it's happening. I do have what it takes. It's a roasted root vegetable soup. And there's some sunchoke chips, a little bit of crispy pancetta for nuttiness, and pine nuts. It's very, very pretty. I just love what you did with these sunchoke chips and these herbs because it, it looks really earthy. Let's give it a try. Wow. Oh. 
cold. It is so good. <laughs> it's comforting. It's got good balance of flavors. I got the sweetness from the potatoes. Fantastic job. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. So, Christy, are you proud of the soup? I am very proud of the soup, yes. You've got the coriander seed. You've got a little bit of chili happening. Yeah. You've definitely showcased to me that you have a really great palate. Thank you. When you pureed the soup, did you add any dairy to it? Yes, I poured heavy cream in there. I would have added actually olive oil to it because that cream right now is masking oh. a lot of the big, bold flavors that you really want to achieve, yeah. right? Yeah. Other than that, it's amazing. Great job. Thank you so much. <laughs> I left my career as an airline customer service agent to come here and do MasterChef Canada, and it's completely worth it. The third and final dish turned the humble root vegetable into an undisputed star. And that dish was made by... Jenny. Yeah! Good job, Jenny. Oh my God, thank you. <laughs> this is Vegetables Five Ways with a balsamic glaze and a parsnip, apple, and yellow beet puree. The plating is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. It really is a discovery of goodies. Great silky smooth puree. The sweet potato? Please maple sweet potato. I guess that gets the kids to eat them, right? Yeah. I put some hot spice on it, though. They don't like that at home. But the judge does. <laughs> That's great. How did you go about treating the lotus root? I just boiled down some beets, and then I pickled it just in the beet juice. It could have sat in that brine just a little bit longer, just to give a bit more of an acidic edge. I agree, yeah. But it's still crispy and flavorful. Well done. Thank you, chef. Thank you. Jenny, I like the way you separated the vegetables. I see the winters here. Celery egg, Swiss chard, sweet potatoes. On this side, you've got summer root vegetables, radish, beets. You know your vegetables. <laughs> sweet potatoes. Hmm. I like the balance, sweetness. Let me taste the pickles. Good crunch, got the acidity. I'm seeing a lot of techniques. Wonderful job. Thank you. Wow. I'm feeling really proud of myself. Like I belong here, maybe. I love you girls so much. 